Okay guys, so iPhone just created an update, iOS 18. One of the biggest updates that they actually ever done. Some of the changes are very, very, very useful. In this video, I wanted just to share with you some of my personal favorite new features of iOS 18. So let's just dive in right away. So we start with something simple, like something that is supposed to be there for about 10 years ago or so, but Apple just decided to make a big deal out of it. Android had that feature for as long as I remember. So, and that is changing your icons, the position of your icons. So you can just hold the icon and move it wherever you want, slap it to exactly the location that you want it to, and not what the iOS limits you to do. So speaking of the customization, you can now just simply hold on anywhere on the screen of your iPhone, tap the button edit on top left corner, click customize, where you are greeted with this really cool screen where you can change the icons from large to small. And when they go into large mode, you are simply eliminating the text underneath the actual icons. On the side, you can see this little sun. That button, what it does is just simply creates a little glow in the back just so your icons would stand out a little bit more. So, and then on the bottom, you can see the coolest feature that is from light mode, dark mode, and automatic. And that is really great feature that they added because there's so many people that are creating all these shortcuts to make sure that their icons all have aesthetics their wallpapers and everything, their just design of the iPhone, their face. And some actually just don't like the bright colors. They just want it to be kind of more of a grayish or even black and white. My personal favorite is that dark mode. And all it does is simply changes the tone of all the icons, no matter the actual background of the icon. Some is really hard to change the color, but nonetheless, it works great. It looks great and I love it whatever your wallpaper color is, you can simply use the color picker and make sure all your icons are the same color. And it's probably gonna take some of the business away from those who create those special icons. It's a great feature. I love that they added that. So let's move on to the next one. So now stay on the same topic of icons. Whenever you press and hold on any kind of icon, you actually can lock that icon and make sure that nobody, nobody can open that icon without your face ID. Holding on the icon, you are greeted with the remove app, require face ID, and that's where you press. So you'll be able to open it only with your face ID. It will requires every single time until you're actually just gonna choose not to have that. So take it to the next level. If you don't want them to not only know that there is a protection of your face ID to get to that application. You can hide the application. Whenever you hold that button and you click that require face ID, you can simply click and hide and request ID. Whenever you hide an application, it just simply takes away from the wallpaper. It goes into special place and I'm gonna show you where it is. So if you swipe all the way to the right, app library, all the way down, you can see that hidden container and it only will be opened using your face ID. No matter who is gonna be looking at it, they will not be able to see all those applications that you've been hiding from whoever, who knows. So I guess get your all the tenders and grinders and bumblebees and all that jazz and you can just simply hide it there. Customizable control center. When you drop from right top corner, hold it and just it goes into kind of that wiggle, wiggle look where everything is wiggles and you can just move everything around. This one doesn't wiggle, but it allows you to move everything around. It allows some of the application to increase in size if you need that real estate. The world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want with this. You can change it around. You can personalize it, I guess, like 10 years ago in an Android. Well, Apple done it and everybody's just raving about it. So you cannot blame them they're good at what they do. So let's go ahead and dive into the next feature. So now on iOS 18, you are actually able to change your lock screen tool set, which is only two of them on the bottom, flashlight and camera. And now you can customize it and change that lock screen, change those icon to whatever you like. Such a great improvement, right? So next change is Photos app. A lot of people just absolutely don't like the new design, the new features that it has, but I feel like the organization and categorization of using, I'm pretty sure, AI to bundle everything into those folders that are just simply helps you find something that you're trying to look for 
it would be a person or it would be like special celebrations, favorites, downloadables, all that stuff is now organized into folders and which I'm personally a big fan of. There's so much more to this phone application that I don't know if I'll be able to just talk about this whole thing in this video, maybe in a different video. So subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Moving on from the photo library to the next feature, which is a messaging app customization and new features. As a videographer, I sent so many photos, videos of BTS footage to clients or some of the files that are high quality, but it does not allow if some of my clients have Android to send those files without compressing the heck out of them. That looks, I don't know, like 480p not even that it's even worse with the new feature that and it's just a toggle switch rcs messaging what the rcs stands for is rich communication services that is absolutely fantastic feature and I almost forgot to enable that feature all i have to do just go to your settings you go to apps messages rcm messaging and just enable that toggle and you're good to go so another thing, it is cool, but it only works between iOS devices. When you type in the text in the messaging app, press select that text and click the A button and you'll be able to add some different little animations of the letters or the text that you actually selected. And another absolutely cool thing, it is actually scheduling your text messages, which is absolutely bonkers. You type in your message and let's say if it's late at night and you don't want to be rude to send a message, but you just have to send it because you will forget in the morning. Structure the message, click the plus button and send later. When you press the send later, you select when you want that message to be sent. Not only that, when you actually create that message line, you can attach files to it and it will only be sent where you actually set it to be sent. Thank you. That is one of the coolest features and I'm going to be using the heck out of it. So on to next one. Also, they added a passwords app. Everybody's saying all it is is just simply passwords on your system settings, but in reality, it organizes everything by security and folder structure, organized by security, what is having like a weak password that you probably would want to change some of the networks that you can create and share with people is just going to be all in folders if you need to have that you know regular view of all the passwords in one line or one list you just simply swipe to the right and you will have that so i think that's honestly a great improvement for the keychain passwords application for ios 18. another great improvement that i start using a little bit more even though I have Notion app, which I absolutely love for all my creative ideas and structure them and just put myself and just my life organized within that one application. So, and again, I will talk about Notion uh, probably in a different video and I'll link it right here. Pretty sure they're gonna be using AI for everything because Apple Notes, when you are putting some information and let's say you have numbers there and you're trying to get some equations done, it actually does it in app and does it automatically, which is really, really awesome. Also, the attachments, the new attachments is the voice recording and it automatically will transcribe whatever you're trying to do that voice recording for. And then you can copy, simply copy whatever you said in that transcription or voice recording piece, share with whoever you want. So send to, let's say, Notion app. However you want to do it, it is an absolutely amazing feature for that transcription of the voice recording. So let's go to the next one. So another great improvement is the calculator app. Everybody thought the calculator app, first of all, is super primitive. The uh, backspace, nobody knew that you have to like just swipe on the actual number to backspace and everybody just cleared it. They didn't like it now. If you're using that application, you actually can see, you can see the history of every digits that you add and or subtract. And also when you move it to the landscape calculator, what's cool about it, it turns into a scientific calculator. Now you can do conversions. Now you can convert uh, units, dollars, amounts, and all that good stuff, which is, I think is absolutely a must have on your device, especially like iPhone, where you're going about and you traveling somewhere, you want to know the, those conversions. You can totally do that in the calculator app, which is honestly, I think it's cool. Using the Apple wallet, you can just transfer money just by bumping. And what it is is simply has super cool animation of, let's say you put a dollar 
and you create this animation of bumping. So when you put the top of your iPhone to another iPhone or near the other iPhone, it actually creates this cool animation with like, you know, particles and it transfers that dollar onto your friend's iPhone. I think that's a really, really cool feature and it is just fun to watch it. So Safari browser has quite a bit of change as well, but one of the most exciting for me is there are some of the websites, especially like local news stations, when you go in to read some kind of article that has happened locally in your town or in your city, and whenever you go to that news station website, you are bombarded with these like annoying ads all over the place because I guess that's what they're trying to make money off of, off of you when you're accidentally with your finger trying to like scroll down to read the story and you open up stupid advertisement and that just pisses me off. With this new feature, you can actually hide it. If you want to read the whole article, all you have to do, go on the bottom, select the little description button over here. And if you see the ad, you just simply tap on it hides it it just evaporates the whole stupid advertisement and honestly i feel like thanos for for a split second over here i know people have to be making money on it but still they have enough time to be visible for the viewer to make that money and the viewer can choose if they want to be annoyed by these and they just want to read the whole article like it's supposed to be i love that so now on the calendar app you can choose if you want to have a reminder or an event a lot of people have tons of events and it just floods with just nonsense events it just doesn't have to be there but now you can make a reminder and not only you can create a reminders and it's going to be on the calendar but you also can click to complete that reminder if you are done with it so i think that's a cool addition obviously there's so many more things that other calendars have that this apple calendar doesn't still great addition we're going the right direction guys thank you apple so those are the main cool ios 18 features that i personally love i cannot wait for my iphone to get here so i can do a full review of the iphone as a videographer just compare to some of the other devices like you know pocket 3 and some other 360 cameras if you are into that kind of nerdy stuff please don't hesitate subscribe and uh, like the video if you found it helpful otherwise Stay awesome, my friends, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.